Raven Blues tarot card reading Zoom one with a little education on one of the cards today. Today's card is the Emperor. And we're going to talk about him today and what it means when he comes up in a reading and what the card symbols represent. Um, the first thing you need to look at the Emperor, he is the king. Okay, he's got a crown, he's got a scepter, he's got the globe in his hand. He, he's got all of the symbols of power. He is a ruler. However, he is not just a ruler. He is a warrior. The armor on his feet. He, he's fully armored underneath his cloak of passion and power. Yeah, he is. As he sits on the throne that's adorned with rams representing Aries and Mars and the god of war, right? War. When you need that warrior spirit, you need to dig within yourself to channel your emperor that lives within all of us. Understand that all of these cards represent the feelings that we have inside. The, the feelings we need to dig out and bring out when we need them in our lives. Um, now, behind him is, is orange and red and yellow, you know, very fiery colors. But right at the bottom, there's, there's a little bit of blue indicating a river or some water that could quench those passionate fires. Now, when you think about fire and lava and chaos, those are the colors that, that represent those things to me. The, the emperor rules over all the chaos. He, he holds it all back. Um, he is so utterly calm that he's unflappable. There's not, nothing that could really rock his boat, so to speak. Um, and it could, there could be fire explosions happening all around him, like like in the the heat of battle, and he'll just go. Mm, that's the way that's supposed to happen. And here's my counterattack to that, and, and he will thrive in that chaos, but at the same time appear so calm, which is what you need to do when your life gets to be chaotic. You need to reach within yourself for the Emperor and pull that out when this card comes up. You need to channel that peace, that calm, that knowing no matter what, you rule over the entire situation. No matter how chaotic it gets. You are on that throne for a reason. And that throne is sturdy and unmovable. It is going nowhere. So you have to rely on that inner strength and that inner peace when things get the most chaotic. If, the, if he comes up in your reading or someone else's reading, you need to talk to them about remaining calm in the midst of chaos, about knowing you have the power. It's like he man, I have the power. Yes, 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 you do. When he comes up, you know you have the power because he holds it all. Never doubt yourself when he comes up. If you believe something is true, it usually is. So if he comes up, you know you know the answer already. Just trust yourself more. Alright, I hope that helps. If you're looking to read cards, or if you're just trying to understand the cards a little bit better. Hmm. If you have any questions... Anything else you'd like to see, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.